Another area that we focus on in our lab is enhancing microscopes, microscopy uh, imaging, using deep learning, neural networks, for improving the resolution, for improving the depth of field, for uh, creating better reconstruction modules for computational types of microscopes. Those are uh, the types of projects that we're very interested in and we've been contributing to. In fact, one of the uh, uh, recent um, uh, applications of deep learning enhanced uh, microscopy led to a spin-off from UCLA named Pictor Labs. Pictor in Latin means painter. So Pictor Labs, the spin-off from our lab, is actually painting microstructure of tissue. So you would be uh, wondering, so what? How are we going to use this? And what is the impact of something like that? Every time you give a biopsy, it goes through a laborious staining process. The tissue is taken out of the body, sometimes during surgery, and it's sectioned into thin layers. And those are stained mostly by humans using some dye so that it looks colorful and placed under a microscope for diagnosticians to diagnose your condition. Literally all kinds of cancer, um, they're diagnosed using these types of images of tissue with submicron resolution. That process of tissue staining is involving a lot of labor. Um, and because of the toxic environment and the toxic chemicals used, it has spatial facilities to handle that, and it's slow. And sometimes it's not repeatable. Uh, you have to take uh, Lots of uh, trials sometimes, it doesn't come out good, you have to send the tissue back again. And it's a laborious, slow process. Pictor Labs is commercializing intellectual property and the technology created uh, in our lab at UCLA to virtually stain tissue so that a neural network that is trained can take label-free tissue images, also acquired with a microscope, but without any stains, without any chemical processing steps that involve chromophores or fluorophores. The label-free native state of the tissue is rapidly imaged using a microscope. And everything else is an AI virtually painting it at the microstructure to mimic what comes out of histology labs, which means saving you time, money, and eliminating all the toxic chemicals that are currently involved in, in staining. Every year, Millions of gallons of water are literally wasted through this whole process. That means this is also a green technology, not only uh, making histology and staining faster and better and more repeatable, but also environmentally friendly. And currently, uh, Pictor Labs uh, is commercializing this technology for uh, all the way from animal tissue staining, for toxicology studies, for pharma, uh, to secondary opinion, uh, for uh, uh, teleconsultation, and all the way up to primary diagnosis using uh, digital histology plus virtual stain. It's a very exciting technology, and, and uh, we're, we're uh, uh, going to make impact through uh, virtual staining and change the history that uh, for the last almost 150 years, the entire community were using and developing different kinds of chemicals to stain tissue. We believe that's going to be history uh, through uh, people labs and this technology.